everybody welcome back to this channel or welcome if you are new my name is Lexis and welcome to today's video so I wanted to do a video showcasing my mods and defaults and create a sim just so you guys can see how I create my sims and what my process is like for creating sims I guess you could say I have done a video before showcasing some of my favorite skin details and makeup but this time I wanted to show you guys my mods and the defaults that I use so starting out I right now I'm using ocean sims fog background I usually switch between this one and the Nixle slate blue background and also I have been using for fun the Aloha background by Elkrez. I will put a picture of it in here now. It's just really fun for the summer and I gave it a try and I liked it. Um, but sometimes I, I usually just go back to something more simple like this. So this is the ocean bog background. And then I do have a lighting mod installed. It is the neutral lighting I switched between that one and then also the realistic lighting. The realistic lighting is really, really good. Um, it also, it just kind of adds the same effect except the lighting is kind of more on this side of the sim. Um, with the neutral lighting mod that I have, um, it is just kind of like all over the front, if that makes sense. Um, or just whichever way you switch your sims. And then in the... Um, thumbnail of your sim it actually changes the look of them too which I really really like it just basically adds like a more brightness to them just makes it more detailed and easier to um, easier to see your sim all right the next mod or override I guess you could say is the CC icon override so there's a couple different options you can choose from there's actually a lot of options but the option I chose and I think is the cutest is this little plum bob that it puts there so instead of having the little circle that says custom content or CC you will have this little plum bob um, there's also an option for the sims 3 little bag that they have like the little bag icon for the store um, if you guys remember that in the sims 3 but i love this little plum bob so so much it's really cute so yeah this is on all of my custom content the next mod or override is self-explanatory it is stand still and create a sim this basically just makes your sims stand still i know there's like a couple different versions out there that you can get um some of them like have your sims in a different position like obviously they're standing still but like their legs are different or i don't know but i like this one it's the more natural one to me she just looks like she's standing up she just looks relaxed i really cannot create a sim without this mod um it just makes it so much easier because it seems like every time you are putting a shirt or anything on your sim they will move and it's just very very annoying so this is very helpful for that all right next up is the tidy details mod which i'm sure a lot of you have heard about this it just basically tidies up your skin details so if you see right here it says a forehead crease and all of this starting from the top to this is your forehead crease section so it doesn't matter like what it is like obviously um this is like a mouth overlay this will be your forehead crease section and then this is your mouth crease so it makes it basically so you can layer your skin details so if i go in here and click this and then i let's say i want to do this as well it's not going to do both of them because they're both in the same section so i can click this and then i can also go down here to the mouth crease section and find that same thing or or any other detail and it will let me put both so that is basically what that is that just makes it easier to see the different section that you are at before i had this i would get so so confused on um which detail was which and it would just it would always override the other one 
so that just makes it so much easier if you have a lot of skin details like me all right i went ahead and like pulled her hair back and took her makeup off so you guys could see this but this is also self-explanatory it is the no ea eyelashes and a lot of people have heard of this i'm sure but as you can see in these thumbnails we have these super choppy blocky eyelashes and they it just look like an ugly eyeliner it's so ugly I don't know why the sims team ever thought that this should pass as eyelashes they're just they're so bad um but this basically makes it so any eye default that you use they're not gonna come with the ugly lashes so like obviously i clicked on that one there and in the thumbnail it has the eyelash but there are no eyelashes on this sim i'm gonna go back to her old eyes because those are ugly <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I just use some custom content 3D eyelashes. I really like the ones by Miko. They are my favorite. Um, so yeah, that is that mod. And then I also have a default skin I use, and I have like always been using the Lumia, or I'm sorry, the vanilla skin by Lumia. It is just a very basic skin it still looks a lot like the ea skin but it just it's just better if that makes any sense it's like the ea skin but better so i will post a link to that and you guys can see like the before and afters um that the creator has posted another default or cast mod that i use is the ea teeth be gone i guess this is technically an override so this is a ea default teeth and as you can see it just looks a little bit more detailed and 3d i really really like these i also really really like the sim tone teeth which i will put in the link below this just definitely looks way better than the ea even with that mod installed i really really like the sim tone teeth and then also the sim symbionts teeth are really cool as well i love how it's not just like perfect and straight it just has like a little bit more realistic touch to it because in reality people's teeth do not look that straight like even if you have veneers for example your teeth are gonna have some shape to them so i just really like these um these two teeth for that i honestly forgot to mention this i believe but i do have the more columns mod i'm pretty sure everyone knows about this but there is i think there's a three yeah there's a three four and five option i have the five i used to have the four but then ever since getting the five i'm like obsessed with it because it just so it shows so much more and it's so easier to find what you are looking for this next mod or override i love having because it just helps me create better sims more diverse sims um and they just turn out so much different and interesting versus having the regular sims defaults so this is just the more create a sim default or i'm sorry presets so each little thumbnail here is a preset and this just makes it so there is tons more at this point i'm honestly forgetting like which ones are ea and which ones are um the mod just because there's like so many and obviously all the thumbnails um look the same except um they're different shapes i do have some defaults in like these i will try to find these and put them down below um but you can literally just look up create a sim defaults oh yeah i have some defaults from uh, twisted cat i love these also squeamish sim makes some good presets i keep on saying defaults but they're presets i just love having all these different presets because they make it to where you just create really really diverse looking sims and it's the same exact thing with the eyes there's literally just so many like i could sit here all day and just like go through these and it is the same with the noses there's so so many it just really makes it so you have a plethora of options and i love that because creating sims in the game for me is so so fun all right and the last override i wanted to show you guys is the default bra set this is by el crez i just really like this default bra set i've seen there's so many different bra sets but this one i really really like the best it's just really simple clean cute and it's not like it even matters too much because it's just going to be covered up 
buy whatever clothing I put on my sim, but I just think it's really cute. And then we have Mr. J Huntington here, and I also have a default boxer override for males by the same creator, Elkrez, who created that one for females. It's just a simple boxer. There is also a black option, same with the females. There is a black option for this uh, bra and panty set. All right, this is actually the last thing. Not that. Um, I totally forgot about this. I do have some CC skin tones. These are the bare skin tones. I just love having these as an option so you don't have to like dig through all the skin tones and change them up with this little thing. It just makes it so easy and I love the skin tones that they have created. They're honestly all so beautiful and interesting and like i'll click on a skin tone see like this i'm like look at that thumbnail versus this like that does not look anything like what this is all right so that is all for me you guys i really really hope you enjoyed and i hope you found something out of this video that you haven't heard of yet and that you will be downloading i really cannot create a sim without any of these mods and defaults and it just helps so so much so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time bye guys